we have our Rode Smart Live here that we're using on JT, and then also we got our Rode Video Mic here. Okay. All right, JT, would you do me a favor? Clap your hands in front of your face. That works. <laughs> I just need the sound of the clap. Okay. You said in front of my face or on my face? In I said front in front, of but... I thought it said on my face. I was thinking Home Alone style. No. <laughs> yeah. I draw one project, then lunch hits, I work on the second project, then I do all my emails during my training, which I'm not supposed to. <laughs> then I come home, babysit for a little bit, go back to work on the next project, and then I come to the studio and work overnight on the big painting of the dude. That sound? It's too much. No, no, it's, it's fine. Yeah. The sound of that, I want to get a good recording of that audio. What would you say to a young, like yourself, when you're in middle school, elementary school, what would you say to that kid now? Screw everybody else, keep drawing. <laughs> like, just keep doing it. Like, I just remember, if I can go back to the middle school of me and talk to myself, it's like, you are not, you are not extremely introverted. You are not bad for thinking the way that you think. You are not bad for making drawings or illustrations or drawing weird things or like drawing how you feel, uh, creating outside the box. like. One of the things I thought that you had to do in order to be an artist was to be just like everyone else that everyone else told you you should be like. You should be like Picasso. You should be like whoever was drawing pictures of other people that are making portraits. You should be a fine artist. You should be painting oils and this is how your art should look. And then as you get older, you're like, screw all that mess. What makes you stand out is you. So whatever your personal voice is, whatever you're most drawn to, that's what everyone else is going to be drawn to.